thousands dying from fentanyl overdoses across the country. The sudden uptick in deaths, hard to ignore as the drug has steadily made its way onto the black market, marching through communities, destroying lives along its path. For more on this, we're going to bring in Pinal County, Arizona Sheriff Mark Lamb. Good morning. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Carl. Thanks for having me on. Oh, my Good pleasure. Morning. So, Sheriff, I, this is crazy. Like, I, and I'm sitting there, we're writing this segment this morning, and you know, monkeypox, what is it, like 3,000 cases nationwide? That's a national emergency. But 100,000 people getting killed of an illegal drug coming across the unfettered border of the, the southern side of the United States is not a national emergency. Explain that to me, sir. Well, I wish I could explain that to you. Could they, that has no logic of why they're not going after this full heart, you know, with all their force that they have here in America. I always explain it like this. We're losing 100,000 Americans a year right now. What, every year, it's the leading cause of death between Americans of 18 and 45 years old. Wow. I always say, let's say you dropped a bomb on a major city in America and killed 100,000 people. What would we do as a country? I mean, we went to war for 20 years for what happened at 9-11 and not to take away any of the deaths of, of what happened there. But that was less than 4,000 Americans. Right, true. We're losing 100,000 Americans to fentanyl poisoning. These are poisonings from the cartel. And our federal government is doing nothing. As a matter of fact, they're too busy trying to indict uh, police officers. They're too busy trying to go after President Trump. Uh, they're too busy fighting all these battles that really don't matter to the American people. And they're completely ignoring the leading cause of death for Americans. Yeah. Uh, Sheriff, fentanyl is 50 times stronger than heroin and 100 times stronger than morphine. And it's becoming a recreational drug. It went from being this drug yeah. that was used for very specific cases. We know how deadly it is. You're giving the statistics on how deadly it is. How do we provide support to law enforcement and also make sure the community knows this is not something to mess with? What right. do we do here? Well, that's a great question, Amanda. And I think the way the American people can help is con to continue to push back against this government as it relates to border security, because this is where we're losing the battle. That's the crazy thing about this. We know exactly where this poison is coming from and how to stop it. Monkeypox, same thing. They know where it's coming from. They just don't want to, to offend that small group of people. Um, but they don't even want to address the fentanyl issue. In 2018, my sheriff's office, we had zero M30 fentanyl pill seizures. In 2019, we had 677 pills. In 2020, we had over 200,000 pills. And in 2021, we had over 1.2 million pills. And in one traffic stop, at the beginning of this year, we had 227,000 pills in one traffic stop. So the, the, it's going up, it's, it's, it's flooding our communities, and children can buy this pill between 50 cents and $2 a pill. Uh, that's dangerous. Yeah, you're going from measuring by you know, just a matter of pills that can fit in your hand mm -hmm. to tons of this stuff. And I mean, over like, the course of four years, to hear those numbers are just yeah. shocking. Well, keep in mind, and also to give people reference at home, like the amount of fentanyl you guys seized last year is enough to kill every man, woman, and child in America, like a couple times over, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very powerful. I, I, I heard the Border Patrol tell that statistic one day, not long ago, that they bring enough fentanyl into this country every month to kill every American in America. Every month, not every year, every month? They're saying every month. There's a lot shocking of it that, that we this... don't get. You got to remember, we don't catch. We're, you're mm -hmm. only hearing about what we catch. Mm -hmm. We're probably not catching a tenth of what's coming in, maybe even a hundredth of what's coming in. So how much is it that's really coming into America and how bad of an impact it have? It's already killing over 100,000 yeah. Americans a year. To me, that is a staggering number. They passed a bill the other day eliminating rifles for trying to eliminate rifles for citizens when only about 400 people die from rifles every year. We are losing 100,000 American civilian lives from fentanyl poisonings and they don't even talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about this wall. Speak by, by the way, this is like baffling to me yeah. that this is like monkeypox is a national emergency, but this is not. Um, I got a minute left. They're starting to build the wall again. What do you make of that? Oh, but you remember, they're not finishing the wall. Oh, it's not a wall. You know, Sorry. Got to get a... their vernacular right. Yeah. Um, I think that this was long overdue. They should have done it a long time ago. It's already been paid for. Um, the wall does help. And, and I heard somebody say it really does. Uh, it really does reduce the amount of drug trafficking and the trafficking of humans into this country. Um, and that's what we need to do. We as sheriffs are pushing back. Hopefully people will come support us and protect America now. Sheriffs standing together for the rule of law, 
fighting against bad policies right. and trying to uh, stand against this craziness uh, of allowing this much poison come into our country along with mm -hmm. the trafficking of human beings. Yeah, non, it, it's, I'm sorry, it's a non-permeable linear structure. It's not a wall. Like <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Sheriff Mark Lamb, thank you yeah. so much for joining us. Those are shocking numbers, Carl, hearing him break it down. I, every, every man, woman, and child killed mm -hmm. every month. I don't know how the administration, government, the average American can ignore something like that. Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. With inflation at its highest level in 40 years and interest rates skyrocketing, your retirement plans are in danger. Well, our friends at American Hartford Gold can help show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Yeah. If you call them right now, they have a special offer. They will give you a free gold coin on your first qualifying order. So don't wait. Call now. Here's the number. 866-935-4309. That's 866-935-4309. Or text Newsmax to 65532. That's Newsmax to 65532. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.